Connor, what was your reflections on that first opening game against Harlequins? Um, overall, pretty pleased. Um, there was a lot of excitement last week and a bit of nervousness um, amongst the players and the coaches. But I think um, everyone was just excited to get out on the pitch after five or six hard weeks of training and uh, hard running. But I think it was important that the coaches as a group, we got to see... Um, where the boys were at so you can you obviously you're working on things in training but it's important to see how how they work out in, in the heat of a game so we got a um, plenty we were happy with and plenty to work on i think that's the important thing from pre-season 16 debutants on the day is it we're going to see a similar makeup of squad this week against bath yeah i think it was important um challenge to pad at the end of last season that we want we had the opportunity to get four pre-season games and um, I think that's important with a new with a new coaching setup and, and like 16 new players last week it's important these guys get to um, feel in the heat of the battle um, on the pitch what they can do so everyone no one played more than 40 minutes last week it'll be similar again this weekend there's a lot of young guys you saw Charlie Powell a uh, 17 year old get a get a debut last week and um, so all these guys will be again this weekend looking for at least 40 minutes um, with a few more guys integrated back into the squad as well and Luke Morahan and Ala Patti are now in the squad are we likely to see these two um, Luke's in into his second week so he will look to get some game time this weekend Alapate just joined us this week so again we'll get him up to speed where physically and with rugby wise and maybe uh, looking for the last two games of pre-season for Alapati. Bath is a real tough opposition how important is it to play high quality opposition particularly in pre-season yeah again um, we've got two premiership sides we've got Pro 12 champions and the Pro 12 champions from the previous year so these are top quality sides with a lot of internationals and a lot of quality um, so I think the game we want to play, we want to play a high tempo, fast game and no better challenge, obviously your, your local derby with Bath, Quinns last week was a really good test and then something a little bit different in the Pro 12 and the Premiership so you get to test against, yourself against really different uh, quality sides. What are you and the coaching staff looking for out of Saturday's game? Is it very much performance? Yes, yeah, definitely performance and like I said we want to see what's working for us and what we need to work on but the emphasis is guys knowing their roles, uh, getting a position so they can make, make good decisions um, and obviously they get a good hit out of uh, with physical side and contact but um, I think especially from last week we've got some, some work ons and which we'll put right now in um, training this week so again each week we want to see an improvement because our biggest thing now is that we've got Harpery in week one and that's all we're geared towards is getting hitting that championship um, ready to go in week one of the, of the season your first taste of a Bristol rugby match day last weekend. How did you find it personally and how did you find engaging with the supporters? It was great. I think um, getting out to Cleve Rugby Club was my first time out there. Um, I think that's really important for Bristol rugby on the whole, that we get out to the community, we get to the different clubs, we get to meet people. Um, Cleve was great, the pitch was great, uh, the boys had a good buzz about the place, but I think having over 2,000 supporters was impressive and just getting used to the different Bristolian chants and the different accents was interesting um, and it was also nice to mingle I think the boys got, got to meet a lot of the supporters afterwards and as did the coaches and we had a really good chat and you can see the, um, the expectation but also the buzz about the place that they just want some success and they want to grab hold of it and hopefully we can bring that